Hey everybody, welcome to Top Dog Tips. If you are new to my videos, my name is Samantha. This is my Chocolate Lab Sadie who loves to lick everything. She is a lickaholic. Um, today I want to show you guys a how-to video on how to stop dog nail bleeding. Uh, we've all done it. If you're new to clipping your dog's nails and you're just worried about it or you are somebody who has clipped dog nails for a very long time and you're just interested in learning how to stop uh, the nail from bleeding. This is something that a lot of pet parents worry about that you're going to clip the quick and uh, that your dog's nail is going to bleed. Now when you clip the quick um, it does bleed a lot. If you've done it before you know what I'm talking about. If you've never done it before uh, do not panic. It bleeds a lot. It bleeds very quickly uh, depending on how much of it you take off. If you just get the tip of it um, it won't bleed as much but normally you'll cut into it just a, a very small bit and it, it uh, will bleed very much and very quickly so don't let it scare you. Uh, it happens to all of us no matter the most experienced dog groomers still clip the quick every once in a while. Uh, when you have a dog with white nails you can see through there's a little pink um, part on the inside and you can see through to the quick. That's the quick. Um, if you have a dog like Sadie who has black toenails it is impossible to see through them and it's very easy to clip the quick so you have to be very um, very gentle and be um, mindful of that. Be very careful. So I have made a video on how to cut dog nails and I will link that if you're watching that on YouTube that'll be linked in the description below. Um, if you are watching this on our website it'll be linked in the extensive written review that's below this video so you can check that out um, if you want more information on how to clip dog nails. Um, but today we want to talk specifically just about how to stop dog nail bleeding and um, I'm going to show you a close up in just a minute of exactly what to do but I just wanted to talk to you for um, just a second beforehand and just explain it to you. So uh, they make this stuff called styptic powder and you can buy it right at your local pet store. It comes in a powder form or you can buy a styptic pencil. Um, same thing and you can get them like I said at any pet store. This is, is specially formulated powder that's supposed to stop nails from bleeding. Sadie's out of here so I will talk to you and explain it for a minute and then I will wrangle her up and show you a close up of it. Um, so styptic powder, if you want to buy that, one, it's more expensive, and two, um, I, the personal reason that I don't use it is it can sting, and I didn't want, obviously I've already hurt my dog by clipping the quick, so I don't want to put any more um, pain there by putting a powder on that stings. So I personally don't choose to use styptic powder. Tons of people do. Most professional groomers use it, um, so it's certainly, I'm not going to say I don't recommend it or anything like that. That's just my personal opinion why I don't use it. Um, instead, I use a home remedy, and I use corn starch. You can also use baking soda. You can use flour. Um, you can use uh, scent free, a bar of scent free soap, which I've never actually tried, but that's what um, my, uh, it's actually my grandparents, my my husband's grandparents, my grandparents-in-law, I guess. Um, that's actually what my grandmother uses. So uh, she loves it, swears by it. Um, I've heard of a couple other people that use that too. So I use cornstarch. I have used flour or and baking soda actually um, in a in a pinch when I'm just when I sometimes I clip the dog's nails and I don't keep something next to me and I don't recommend that. But um, that's happened to me before. So when you're in a pinch, it's kind of whatever is quickest to grab or whatever's closest to you in the kitchen. Um, but what I should do and what I recommend all of you do is just get a little bowl or um, a, a soda bottle cap works really well. If you have an old soda bottle cap, you can fill that because you only need a very, very little bit of the whatever powder you choose to use. Um, if you buy a styptic pencil that you just press on the nail, um, but styptic powder comes in a little container, so you're gonna have to scoop a little bit of that out um, or use it in the container itself if your dog's paw fit in there. I use this open bowl because it's very open. The dog's paw can fit right in there. So um, again, use something where either the paw can fit in or just the nail. The bottle cap's really good because it's so small that you can put it right on the nail. Um, and put just a, a very little bit of the powder in there because you don't want to waste more, you, you're only going to need a pinch, so you don't want to waste a whole bunch of whatever you're using. So um, this is cornstarch again. You could use baking soda, flour, the styptic powder. Put it in a little bowl and just keep it next to you while you're clipping your dog's nails on the off chance that you do clip the quick. It's right here and you don't have to go anywhere um, to try and chase it down. Like I said, I've done it before that I didn't have powder and then you're kind of running and you're hoping that your dog's staying still and not tracking blood through your home and so it's it's a mess. So if you just keep it with you then you're all set. 
Um, so I will go around Sadie up again. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer so you guys can see up close of what to actually do um, and how to stop dog nail bleeding. Okay guys, so here's an up close shot of Sadie's paw and I just want to show you really quick what you would do if you clipped to the quick. Obviously I'm not going to do that on purpose and hurt Sadie, but I will show you what to do in the event that it happens. Um, you want to have either a clean paper towel or a clean uh, cloth of some kind next to you as well as your powder in your little dish. So I have both of those. No, we're not eating cornstarch. No. So what you're going to do, um, you clip it, it hurts your dog, they might yipe a little bit and pull away from you. Um, I always check after I clip every nail, I just sort of check the end of the nail. Um, that one actually, you can see poor Sadie's little nail is broken. Um, so I just check the end to make sure it's not bleeding, but if you notice that it is, you want to take your clean cloth and just press it on there for two minutes. Um, keep a little, very light pressure on there for two minutes. Hopefully you can keep your dog still. Um, if there's another person in your house that can help you, you could holler to them and just have them pet your dog and keep them still. Um, so you do that for two minutes and then, um, all you have to do is, no, Sadie Lou, no thank you, um, all you have to do is take a little pinch of your powder and dip it right on the end of the nail there and the blood will, whoops, the blood will congeal it. No, you're not eating cornstarch. The blood, oh sorry. The blood will congeal it and it'll stick there. Um, if it continues to bleed just a little bit, you might want to take another um, pinch. Again, like I said, you just pinch a little bit there in your fingers and you can stick it right on the nail, right on the bottom of the nail and it'll stick right to it. Obviously it's not sticking to Sadie's right now because hers isn't bleeding, but trust me, if it's bleeding, it will and um, it'll stick on there. And then just keep your dog from licking it. So if you need to sit with him for 10 or 15 minutes, no, Sadie. If you need to sit with him for 10 or 15 minutes and just um, you know pet him and love him, turn the TV on, watch a show, relax with him, just keep him still. You wanna try and keep him off his feet for at least 30 minutes. Uh, walking around can make it worse. It'll make the blood circulate and can make it bleed faster. So if you can sit there for 30 minutes or keep him sitting for 30 minutes, that's great. Um, if it doesn't clot within 20 minutes, that is when you wanna go see your veterinarian. Um, I have never had that happen and I would say it's probably not going to happen for you, but you never know. So if you are trying to get it to stop bleeding for more than 20 minutes, you need to go see your veterinarian right away because there's an issue with that not clotting. Um, so if you have any questions about how to stop a dog nail from bleeding um, or dog nail clipping, again, you can see my video on that um, and I will link that. But if you have any other questions, feel free to email me. Uh, you can get my contact information on our website, which is topdogtips.com. You can find us on YouTube if that's how you're watching this, of course. Subscribe to our channel. We are on Facebook. Google Plus, Twitter, in, and Instagram. So any way that you send comments or anything like that, they'll get back to me. And if you have any other questions on anything else dog related, I'd be happy to help out with that as well and post um, a how-to video for you or a product review. Uh, so let me know, reach out to me, don't be shy. And I will see you guys back next time with another very beneficial how-to video. Thanks guys.